Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. In this episode, we're going to look at a local pickup that I got for the princely sum of £40. Now, usually I wouldn't pay £40 for a pickup. However, however, she said something about a dead relative being involved in all sorts of emotional stuff. And I heard music playing in the background, probably a little tiny fiddle. And um, I did probably pay over the odds for this, but you can be the judge. Now, first up, we got a bag. Okay, and there's a bag within a bag, so we'll take the top bag, move this to one side. Spoilers there, I'm afraid. I've not looked at any of this yet. It could be absolute mouldy garbage. So what's first? Let's see here. Agent X, the mad prof's back, and his front, presumably. Uh, cassette, very good condition. Mastertronic, Agent X2, actually. Oh yeah, Agent X2. So that can go to the side, that's good. There's 50 pence. Manic Miner! Yay! Who doesn't like Manic Miner? Well, people who don't like life, in my opinion. Commodore 64, obviously not as good as the Spectrum version. Ooh, I can hear you. I can hear you roaring in Commodore for everyone. No! By the way, come to Commodore for everyone if you like your Commodore stuff. It's a brilliant group and I'm in it. On the Facebook, as the old people call it. Um, never seen this before. Nightmare Park by AR Software. Looks very independent. Oh, nicely made though. You have six lives to start off with. Oh, not a great start. Six lives to start off with. Winning any of the games would result in the game of one point to your score. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, probably a Pac-Man clone. Okay, so uh, down there. What else we got? Ooh, we're gonna know what this is straight away from the artwork. This is Grid Runner by Mr. Jeff Minter, the llama himself. Look at that, oh, cassettes in there. Hmm, instructions and in a clamshell. And the clamshell's surprisingly not damaged. Seven pounds, bloody fortune back then that was. Commodore 64 Grid Runner, excellent. I'll speed this up a bit. Tau Seti, the greatest game ever written. Ever written? Bit of a bold claim back then. Is it in the case? Tis, yes. Okay, uh, Commodore C64 C introductory tape, boring, oh toolbox, oh yes it is toolbox, yeah, that can go in the pile, Outback by Paramount Software, I don't need this one either, a new standard in programming, the C64 comes alive with this arcade quality pure machine code action spectacular, you beauty, look at that, look at that, what a shocker. Uh, I have no idea. I'd like to say that I'll, I'll play these at some point, but I probably won't. You know me, I'm not very good. Um, another clamshell. Matrix! Yay! Matrix by Grid Runner, Commodore 64. And I think this is. Hang on. Grid Runner and Matrix. Right, yeah, Grid Runner and then Matrix. I think it's the sequel. Or something. I don't actually know enough about it. Okay, you can go there. Got here. Mike reads pop quiz. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Pat, I love you, Pat. I love you. Well, it's in there. Uh, yeah, you're right. See, that might be really interesting to look at. You know, considering what time has passed and considering pop back then was probably a lot better than it is now. Uh, big case. Oh, gauntlet. Warrior needs food. Oh, that looks like a mouse has needed food because something's been eaten there on the edge. Never mind. It's okay. Well, uh, look, just the tape in it. Yep, the tape's in there. C64128. Wunderbar. And one more thing in here. The utterly, utterly non Brexit, non racist Chinese juggler. Awesome. Uh, Chinese Juggler by Ocean back in the day. Um, spin the plates in this 3D simulation of the classic game requires skill, speed, judgment. Makes full use of the Commodore 64. Not half 
of the Commodore 64, but full use. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. Brilliant. Not 40 quid's worth though, is there? So let's see what else we've got in this bundle. So pop that on the chair behind me. Let's see what's next. Move the bag for life. Right, I tried that new Tesco's dating service. Be careful though, because I went on it and I ended up with a bag for life. Little joke there. Right, first up, Space Shuttle for the Commodore 64 by Microdeal, uh, cassette version. Cool. It was very light, like a fake thing. Let's open it up and have a look. Oh, what bloody hell, polystyrene inside. But there's no tape. Of course there's no tape. Oh, hang on. No tape, but there is a... Oh, there is a tape. Look at that. Micro deal. Commodore 64 Space Shuttle Flight Manual. God, that is really thick outer and... Cool, back in the days when that was big box gaming, mate. Wow, wonderbar. Absolutely no good to me, though. I'll never play it. All this stuff's going up for sale eventually, I think. My wife decides to part with my estate, at least. Uh, very nice. Yeah, okay, I like that. A value pack by Bo Jolly. I always wondered if that was um, a play on words for Beaujolais. You know, like the wine. Um, instructions. Three tapes. Two games each tape. What games are on it? Arcadia. Pedro. Cosmic Cruiser, BC Bill, Invaders, 3D Jumping Jack. Another one for the pile. Soft Aid. Oh, this is really um, not not well regarded because um, I think they collected a load of money that was meant to go to charity. And what actually happened was they never gave any of it to charity. Yeah, you wouldn't have that happen in these days, would you? No. Oh, wait. That four ninety nine from Bracknell Computers. So... Not far up the road from me. Um, Assembler 64. I'm not going to dwell on that. Is it in there? Yes, yeah, Assembler 64. Lovely. The only thing that could be more boring than a copy of Assembler 64 would be a second copy of Assembler 64. Okay. Uh, yay. Uh, two of them. Okay. So Chappie really liked his Assembler. But, you know, that's just cool, isn't it? It's not dull or anything. And it, Hang on. Home manager. Uh, okay. What's this? A Brasco home manager. Put your feet up and let your electronic brain take the strain, my lord. Home manager suite. Diary address book. Budget program. Bank manager. <laughs> Boring. Um, that's like um, Hey Hey 16K, isn't it? And the household accounts... If your dad ever works it all out. C64 Programmer's Reference Manual. Have I hit 40 quid yet? Probably not. That looks pretty good though, I've got to say. Um, oh, this is a bit, bit more interesting. Learning to use the Commodore 64 computer. Very nice. Um, nothing's mouldy or smells bad yet. Project Planner. Take control of time of any task. This cat here. That uh, free cat hair, I could clone their cat. Yeah, um, Commodore 64 cassette tapes. There's a bloody great big flip chart thing in here. Oh dear, yeah, that's never getting loaded in. Brain Power Software Catalog. Um, Star Seeker thing. And uh, tapes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's bear in mind that that Star Seeker thing's in there just in case. It's somewhere else in the package. What else have we got here? Star Seeker. Bloody hell, that was completely random, wasn't it? Didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so what we'll do, whilst we're here, and we know it's there, because let's be honest, it's not the most exciting piece of software, Project Planner. We'll take that out, and we'll put it into there. Or will we? Yes, we will. Lovely. Mind you, I say it's boring, but um, things like Tax Calculator 1984 on the Sinclair Spectrum goes for a pretty penny. So uh, maybe that'll fill out somebody's C64 collection, but I doubt it. Okay, so that can go there. Um, a few more things in the box. Abra... Ab Abra Calc? 
Okay. Uh, have a count. A Commodore C64 spreadsheet. Oh God, can you imagine? Instead of opening Excel, you had to load a tape. You'd really want to have to do a spreadsheet, wouldn't you? Oh, I can't be bothered to read it. Okay, so not quite up to 40 quid yet. Logo! On the C64, and this is... From Slough. Oh, look at that manual. Bloody hell. Blimey. There's the software. There's nothing else in there. Now, what else in there, like? Just the manual. That can't be a tape, can it? Let's see what it is. Cassette, whatever. Nothing. Nothing. Tra la la. All oh, right, okay. Oh, it's a cartridge or something. Who knows? It's not there, regardless. Um, huh. Curious bog roll. Hmm. Curious bog roll. Okay, you can go there. Ay, 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 ay. Oh! Paper for CGP115. More curious bog roll. I'm not entirely sure uh, what that means. Put it in there. It's very heavy. Yep, seems to be. Seems to be in it. Okay, so you can go there. Ugh. Go over there, sir. Thank you. Um, what else is in the bag? Shall I move the bag over? So we can see the final furlong. We have disc version Commodore 64 of uh, Beyond Channel's Enigma Force. Special price, 14.95. Deduct 50%. Two pounds! So that didn't sell very well, did it? Whatever it is. It's the disc version, actually. Let's have a look. Is it in there? Hope so. Discs are quite hard to come by. I'll be really happy if the Woohoohoo! Lovely little comic thing going on. Look at that. Oh, look at the colour in there. Lime green, not faded at all. Beautiful. I like it. Nice. Brilliant soundtrack on Spectrum 2, you Spectrum paupers. Um, what have I got here? Some keyboard overlay thing, I think. I think, yes. Like that, maybe. Um, Beyond Software Catalog, Superman. Uh, tuna, 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 whatever that is. Enigma Force. Who knows? And... Nothing. Uh, disky whiskey. Oh, I saw all that and there's no disc. Okay, no disc. Never mind. I'm sure someone's got the disc and hasn't got this though, which might be a little marage made in Ivan. So we'll pop that back in there. The box is in really good condition. Beyond software. I always like their boxes. They all look like uh, a comic. You know, really good. So, um, yeah, that can go there. Nearly done. What else have we got? Oh my god, another copy of Home Manager. Yay. This guy really liked his home management. Um, some other tapes. What do we have here? Another C64C introductory cassette. The Wonder of Home Cinema Sound. Oh, you're right, mate. Music FX for um, backing tracks and mood music. Yeah. I suppose we could use the cases. Celebrate 20 classic tracks for special occasions. Mm, that's all right. I can't bear it. That'll be cheap tape as well, so not even any good for computing. And um, some various cables. Um, RCA cable to RCA. Oh, sorry. Not the board. Did I like that? Yeah, probably. Um, sort of um, coaxial cable hookup cable. I'm sorry if this is out of focus, but uh, there you go. That's the grim dog eared cards that Cruel Fate has dealt us. What the hell is this? Um, well, whatever it is, it's got some sort of strapping on it. And this is the end of the cable. Can you see that? DC 12 volts. Mirakawa. It says Mirakawa. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that is. 
Anywho, so yeah, the contents of the bag. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Oh wait, there's some other stuff. I forgot to tell you. So do we think we've hit 40 quid yet, guys? Do we? Do we think we've hit 40 quid? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. That's got to be six quid on its own, surely. Not what that is. Space shuttle, good condition. We were four quid. Uh, nah, who knows? Novelty toilet roll, got to be worth a quid. That can go in there. But we've got something else that came with it. So uh, do bear with me while I put it over. We have got. Turn, turn, turn. Let me see if I can bring it over actually. An introduction to basic part two, which has got this lovely um, big fat manual in it. I think this is an addendum to the original C64 manual. But unfortunately, no software. Poo. Um, but, you know, I bet people have got the software and they haven't got this. Again, a marriage made in heaven. This is diskette, you see. I suspect that this chap took all his discs out, kept them in a box, and the box never made it. Programmers Utilities. Uh, this is the... Um, Emmys that you often see talked about on the net when people are talking about using DOS Wedge on things like the SD2IC. So programmers utilities, again, no diskettes, but we do have lit paperwork. Please excuse me, Belching. So uh, quite a nice little historical record. I'm probably going to be passing these on to someone who will uh, look after them a little better than me or maybe has the diskettes. Oh, I'm not even sure. Maybe these aren't archives and can do with scanning. Who knows? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, yeah, so there's that. But there's also something else. Tan, tan, tan! It's not complete, I don't think, though, because, look, I've got this bit, and I've got this bit, and I have this. Commodore Plotter, which looks like lots of fun. Um, and I've been told that the biggest problem with these is that you cannot get the pens. However, it looks like there's some new pens here that haven't been used. And I wonder, I really do, whether they work. So, oh, and I've dropped them all down onto my floor. So let's have a go. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to take it out. Yeah, I've got to take the cap off, obviously. Obviously, he says, not knowing what he's doing. Look at that. Working Commodore plotter pens. Really, really, really working as well. Look. Hello. So, hmm. Well, there's something to be reckoned with, isn't there? Just pick up these other ones, these little brown ones. And pop those back in this uh, tubey thing. Radio Shack plotter pens. And we've also got, we've got brown, black... You can go in there. We've got blue, green, and red. Uh, red, blue, black, green, I think. Oops, sorry, head back to the camera. But we only seem to have, unfortunately, one of the uh, what's name support things. But you know, you can easily jury rig something up with that. So that can go in there. That can go in there as well. And I'm going to take that. Next week, when I go up and visit uh, Retro Man Cave. So that can go with me then. Okay, so we'll move that out of the way. I've had my 40 quids worth yet. No! Wait, there's something else. Put that to one side. Where's it gone? Where did I put it? It's so small, I probably, probably lost it. Where, where, oh, here it is. Yes. An Oceanic OC-118N Commodore compatible floppy drive. Oh, we're getting close to that £40 now. I can feel it. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, look, Polly's. It's a shame about this brown tape, but I reckon if I heated that, I could pull it off. Right, so pull this out. Let's have a quick look at the box. 
features compatible with the 64 64c vic 20 plus 4 c128 in 64 option and the c16 it's 30 percent faster than the uh, 1541 and 1541c's Slimmest, most compact, most compact disc drive available, ready to run, blah, 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 blah. So we'll just move that out of the way. Don't know if it works, of course, because uh, I didn't get any discs. It'd be funny if there was a disc in this. Or not funny, actually, because it would have shed all over the head. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Bananas! Oh, right, okay. Well, the uh, usual polystyrene melty, melty things happen. But, yeah, we've got power supply. That puts the right voltages for the drive, no doubt. We have what looks like a drive-to-drive -drive cable. Okay. And we have an upside-down drive. That, somebody has actually packed away with the shipping. Uh, the shipping. Uh. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good, let's see. Do not bend. Insert this magnetic head protection sheet and set the lever during transportation. Right, well, you're not gonna be able to see inside there, but it's very, very clean indeed. On the back, you got the usual power ports uh, in and out for the, uh, I don't know what that is. There's no manual in here either. So let's actually compare this drive with a Commodore drive. Of course I have a Commodore drive. I have a 1541, who wouldn't have a 1541? Just knocking about. Now, it's not that much bigger. Oh wait, it's freaking huge. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hmm. It does look like there's a bit of an advantage to having this if you're uh, having space at a premium. Anyway, this did not come as part of the bundle. This did. This is part of the pickup. Put that there. Okay, so uh, what do you reckon, YouTube? Have I had my forty pounds yet? Ah, oh, you don't think I've had my forty pounds yet? You know what? Let's just put this away. I'm, I'm feeling disgusted. If if only there was some way that I could convince you that I've had my forty pounds worth. <gasps> Wait, there's more. He said in the most obvious tone because everybody was already expecting that. There's more, there's something else that came with this bundle, which I completely forgot to tell you about. Let me just put this away and then uh, I'll show you. It's a bit rubbish though, you, 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 won't, you won't like it. You, you, you'll go, oh no, it's a so rubbish. Oh, I hate it, Mark. Mark fixes stuff, what are you doing to me? It's so rubbish. I'll pack that away properly soon, OCD people. Right, where has it gone? Oh yes, it's very difficult to find because it's so small. Oh, let's see what we've got. And in the words of David Birdsell, what's in the box? Well, I don't know, but let's find out together. Do it splash. In or out? In. Impressive. Let's see. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go, YouTube. It's naked! It's a Commodore 64. It's a funky fudge Commodore 64 with a Commodore joystick. Very nice. Actually, these are utter crap, but I have a fondness for them because I had one. Uh, a C64 data set, a wedge PSU, I'm sure it works to be honest. Um, I need to sort of tuck that up somehow, it's going to keep falling down, move that forward a bit. Uh, let's have a look in the back, so this is uh, made in England, Commodore 64, serial number 450906. Looks in pretty good condition. Look good with a bit of a wipe, but couldn't we all after all this time? In a, uh, a carry case that's harboring all sorts of wildlife. Um, little bits are shattered off, but again, that's an age thing. Oh, good Lord. Is that meant to be in there? I don't think it is. Is that, is that meant to go through there, is it? Who knows? 
Oh, it seems to be have been fed through there, whatever it is. I'm not going to pull it out now on the video. Or the cable! Um, so, a little joystick jobby thing going on there. For the wedge. Oh, I've got more time. I'll take this all out and give it a clean. So, yeah, look, that's fed in that side there, look. Someone's actually fed it underneath. So, yes! And that is the end, ladies and gentlemen, of my pickup. So did I get my forty pounds worth? What do you think? I would say, yes. And uh, I'm quite pleased with this. It's in really good condition. Just needs a wipe. I'll be testing it very, very soon. Um, it can go with my other several Commodore sixty fours. Right. Well, I'm going. I hope you've enjoyed this pickups video. If you enjoy what you see, tell others. If you don't enjoy what you see, tell no one. See you later. Subscribe to get your fix and punch my bell.